Well, good morning, everyone. It's Tyler checking in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Just wanted to give you an update on the trellis and how things are uh, going. I'm gonna make my way through here, and show you these over here as well. And uh, just gonna show you overall how this works out when you, when you run them along these strings that I tied up. If you saw my previous video, and I'll have a link to that in the description, uh, it basically shows you and you can more or less see how I'm doing this here. And uh, of course, these are um, the smaller variety of tomatoes. My wife picked those out this year, and I'm not even sure what the type is. But over here, you can see my beef eaters and my jolly green giant with no limbs and how they're growing. And uh, they're going quite well. And I'm going to pause this, and I'll be right back. Okay. Well, I'm going to move over here now. So you can see, uh, and again, in the description, you will see links to how to grow huge tomatoes. And it involves uh, the removing of suckers, or basically limbs, so that what you end up with is just a single vine running straight up. And then when they get too tall, I start moving them over on these strings. And you can see what's going on here. I've got just that going on, and I'm gonna have some fruit right in this area. <laughs> anyway, so that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this. And again, I'll be back in just a minute. I'm going to send these videos in segments because they're not letting me send them in long sessions. So I'll be right back. All right, and to finalize, just a couple things I want to say. Uh, one thing that I've been doing during this fruiting stage is I make a solution of Epsom salt mix, which is one tablespoon mixed in with one gallon of water. I shake that up and I put it in this mist bottle and I mist these plants. And uh, so during this phase, then that adds uh, magnesium sulfide to the um, soil or to the plant and to the fruit. And that is lacking in most of our soils here in the US and really all over the world. So Epsom salt is something I would highly recommend. And I, uh, I treat it about once every two weeks during this uh, uh, phase when it's fruiting. And I just missed them real good. And uh, so there's another little tip for you to add not only flavor, but just uh, Epsom salt's good for your body. It's good for your function and your health. Look it up, you'll be surprised. It has hundreds of, it's the basis of hundreds of helpful benefits. And so uh, there you go, that's it. That's Tyler's video today. And I hope you have just a wonderful, blessed day in whatever you're doing. Bye-bye now.